so let me uh, take to the next level like let me copy one of the code from the documentation like creation of the data frame so we no need to create a spark session in databricks if you are running that in any other notebook that is needed so let me copy this whole code from here and paste it here okay so we are not having any uh, pandas code now so let me remove this we don't need it okay so from date and time we are importing date time and date so we will be using date here we will be using a date and time here okay and we are also importing one of the function from PySpark SQL that is row now let me run this so when I run the command took successfully executed and the transformation is done but for PySpark for spark if you want to show the results you need to take an action on top of that on top of the transformation you need to take an action so what action you want so I say data frame dot show and just use dot show and press shift enter and see the results now you can see the results now in if you are taking a row function here you are specifying a b c d e so this will be your first record spark is smart enough that it will detect that hey this is your first record i guess so it is showing me all first record this is your second record i'm getting all the second record here third record i'm getting the third record here so this is how you can show or create a data frame so let us take few more examples quickly so this is the second code let me copy this but if you look carefully look at the data okay look at the data I close this yeah so now you have the first record this is exactly same but here they have taken a row but here we do not have a row now you might ask me like are we dealing with this all type of data obviously yes because we are dealing with all big data we don't know what would be the big data format like how the data comes in we don't know so actually we need to know each and every detail like how your data looks like so it is a list inside list we have a tuple and in that tuple we have each record separated by a tuple so this is a first record second record and third record but now we do not have a row so now i'll do little bit changes here on this code i'll copy it i'll paste it in the new line and let me remove this schema here they have specified the schema but let me remove it i'll not talk about schema now now let me run this date and date time are already imported somewhere here they have imported somewhere here so now no need to import it again so let me just check the code uh, i need one more bracket after this now i guess this is completed let me run this now it has executed now let me see that hey let me use or let me use an action to display the output now i got an output it is okay now i can see that but where are your column headers i did not get any column headers you can see one two three four but i wanted the column headers i have not specified the schema so how will you get the column headers so to specify the schema or if you specify the schema like this now you may ask me the question like how many ways are there like how you can specify the schema so we will check all the details about the specifying the schema but let me run this now let me run this and now let me use data frame dot show and you can see the data frame now now you got the column headers now if you ask me the question like in how many ways you can declare this data and how many ways we can give a schema so let me go back to the help command on data frame now if you just click on this cell output and just scroll up you can see that your data can be of any of these type they have clearly mentioned it can be of class rdd and it can be of class row just now we have seen it can be of class tuple it can be of integer boolean etc or it can be of any python data types like a list or a pandas data frame 
so your data should be any of this so if you consider all this like it can cover majorly all the big data uh, data okay so if you look at the schema the schema can be any of the type so first it is you can take a PySpark SQL data types or it can be a string type it can be a list type or it is an optional so your data type or your schema can be any of this so we have seen a example here in the first we have not specified the schema we have not specified the schema here also but if you specify the schema here like now let us look at how the schema was specified here so we are saying that hey first column is your a the column name is a and the data type is long second column is b and the data type is double there you can take an integer you can take a float here and the third data type is like so third column is c and it is a string third d is date data type and e is your timestamp data type with date and time so this is how you can create your data frame now if you ask me the question like are we create going to create this data every time for the first few notebooks we are going to create a data frame but in actual practice in real time problems we are not going to create a data because the data is already available we need to read that data so we are going to read the data so just keep on uh, like uh, be in the session so you will get everything about this spark so this was a simple code like how to create a data frame so you can just scroll if you want to create a data frame using pandas data frame you can also do that this is by using rdd like if you have a rdd now i want to create a data frame on top of rdd this is how you can do it now uh, if you want to check the schema of this or if you want to check the data type so after data frame dot show there is one more function we need to use to check the schema that is print schema data frame name dot print schema and see the syntax here it is a camel case so s should be capital obviously then you put a brackets here in the function and just run it now you can see that whatever data types you have mentioned that data types are here long double string and so on now if you think like hey i have not specified any schema on this now if i run print schema on this data frame what output you will get so let me run print schema and show you so it is oh let me just run this before because we have this data frames are all immutable so whatever data frame you have created that data frame i have not changed the name so let me run this now let me run this now you will get a column name says one two three four and for uh, spark is smart enough that it will detect the what data types we have provided so it will detect you can see the data types of column one is long double string date date and uh, timestamp even though we have not specified any schema it will automatically detect most of the time but if you are working on the complex data then at that time we have to specify the schema so this was how to create a basic and a simple data frame using PySpark. i hope you have enjoyed the session so if you like the content please subscribe to my channel like the video and share it with your friends thank you for watching keep learning